With inside the control room at the London's Ambulance Service, we can now send you a text uh, if you ring 999 if I need. And what that allows me to do is open up your camera on your phone and that gives me access to that with inside the, the control room and I can view the, the scene from your <coughs> telephone. Uh, it requires no downloading, no apps or anything. It's purely just a text. You approve it and we can then look on scene and we can carry on talking to you and we can then see what's going on. So we've used it 67 times in the last 26 days. And what that allows us to do and what we use it for is for people like road traffic accidents, fall down stairs. If someone says that they've broken their leg in a certain way, we can send extra resources so we can straighten legs. The whole idea of the incident on scene is actually to get an advanced resource or actually get a resource to you quicker um, because of something what we see might be not different to what, how you've explained. At the present moment, um, this has only been used by the desk within inside the control room, which activates the air ambulance. Uh, we hope within the next month or two to pass it across and, and let our colleagues and the advanced um, paramedics to use it also. Uh, so uh, they use things like for uh, if your knee is dislocated or your ankle is dislocated, uh, they can bring some really good skills for that and they can help put that back and reduce patients. Uh, discomfort. So I'm hoping within the next month or two that the advanced paramedics get it and then the idea is to roll it out across uh, other uh, uses as we were saying to the urgent care teams uh, and our 111 so our clinicians who ring patients back. Uh, so with the Good Sam incident on scene it's been used in other platforms around the UK so a couple of other ambulance services are using it um, but we are certainly the largest ambulance service which has started to use it. It's been used across uh, Europe and a couple of um, other services across there. The, the difference is with the, uh, the population within London, it's, we've used it more than an, an awful lot of other services have done at the present moment. To actually use it 68 times in two months is, is incredible and that just shows you the benefits as it will be and we will be, the, the plan is to roll it out. Um, at the present moment we don't record uh, anything that, is, that we're videoing and I think that's really important to understand is that there is no recording, we don't save anything, it is purely a conversation and we're just viewing it. Obviously when we start to go to uh, giving you a clinician is talking to you and it's more like a consultation so when we go to a consultation type service and use it potentially for that, that's when we need to start looking at recording and that's the bit we're working through at the present moment. How do we save that, that, that consultation that you've had so that you have access to it as a public and that we have access to it if you, if you wish to ask us anything about that. And that's what we're working through at the present moment. Instant on scene, or especially through platforms like the Good Sam, and being able to access people's cameras, I believe this will be standard like practice for certainly our lower acute calls. Um, some of the interesting things which Good Sam has done is uh, over in Europe, in Copenhagen, they're using it for cardiac arrest. So they ask you to put the phone on the side so they can actually give you advice of how effective your CPR is. So actually, the future of so a platforms like Good Sam is it's incredible. So to, for us to be able to sit there and look at you do CPR, we can tell you if you're going too fast physically. We can see if it's you're performing CPR correctly, um, and that's that's quite exciting because actually quite often we 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 envisage you're doing it correctly. To actually be able to see it and just have the camera in the background is just revolutionised sort of like the pre-hospital care, I believe.